It is the importance of ensuring that we have a multidisciplinary response when we're dealing with violence or threat risk making behavior so that we have a thorough understanding of where that young person is in relationship to their needs for intervention or potentially the immediate uh, harm that that child may pose towards another child. So that understanding of the importance of that multidisciplinary approach, not to be engaging in unidimensional assessments as we are assessing risk that a student may pose to another student, uh, and the value and the importance of sharing of inf information, um, collaborating more in developing those risk-reducing intervention response plans, uh, and also a clear understanding of being able to identify worrisome behaviors as we refer to as cry for, cries for help. And what does that look like for this community to talk more and reach out more to those individuals that are demonstrating those worrisome behaviors. I think that uh, one of the things this is accomplishing uh, is kind of going for a unified approach to the problem solving aspect, which is, I think that's a difficult thing for all the different agencies. It's important to me because it gives us the opportunity to share that responsibility for an intervention, make an informed decision in group rather than, than feeling alone and uh, provide a better, better um, capacity within our community to deal with issues. From a parent perspective, it's really good, especially as being a parent leader, knowing the protocols that the schools uh, should be following and do follow so that we can help parents through these really difficult uh, situations when their child's involved. Well, I think the goal is um, overall student safety. Um, school safety but you know uh, I think just awareness so to to go through a checklist in your mind and, and see what's working um, what's proven through data that works and comparing it to what's going on in your school and with your team is uh, is critical the violence at risk assessment is a wonderful foundation and a method of analyzing um, all threats that would be occurring in schools so that we are not missing blatant indicators that a youth is on a path of sort of some self-harm or harming others so that framework is good it's also really good for some opportunities to know and uh, connect with our community partners who will be doing the same work with us from a different lens but that we can all work to be together better and our discussions at our table all right with our colleagues from our district and some are from outside the school it's how can we meet and tighten up on some of those things take some of the new uh, uh, information that we've learned here today to go forward you know to make our schools as safe as possible no province in the country or no state south of the border has done more formally to actually move the work forward than the province of British Columbia and uh, the ERASE initiative both in terms of addressing bullying and bullying prevention uh, and it's clear weaving into the fabric of higher end violence threat risk assessment as well um, sets this province apart from any other jurisdiction in the country.